It's not important to know the identity assigned to Marsha E. Johnson when she was born on August 24, 1945. What's essential is to remember how she identified herself and to remember her contributions to the LGBTQ movement as an activist. I'm the NYC Traveler, and we're in Brooklyn, New York. The Marsha B. Johnson State Park is located on Kent Avenue and N 7th Street in the Williamsburg section of Brooklyn. It was the first state park in New York to be named in honor of an LGBTQ person. Marsha grew up in New Jersey and moved to New York City shortly after graduating from high school. She came out and alternatively identified herself as gay, a transvestite, and a queen, as in drag queen or street queen. She took the last name from the Howard Johnson restaurant she used to hang out in, and the P stands for pay it no mind. She would say that when people asked her about her gender. She even said it to a judge once who was impressed enough to release her from custody. Johnson was known for her colorful and outstanding outfits and flowers in her hair. She performed with various productions and groups and was photographed by the renowned artist Andy Warhol. Johnson was also known for being generous and warm-hearted, but she had an aggressive side when she was provoked. Her friends would raise money to bail her out or help her out when she needed it, showing how much she was loved. Marsha was one of the first drag queens to go to the Stonewall Inn when it started being open to women and drag queens instead of just gay men. It is an unproven legend that she started the Stonewall Riots on June 28, 1969. However, more solid documentation exists that she showed up later and was there the second night, allegedly dropping a brick on a police car while up on a lamppost. She marched in the first Gay Pride rally on June 28, 1970. Throughout her life, she marched in parades, protests, participated in rallies and events advocating not only for gay rights, but as a drag queen, and acceptance into the LGBTQ community. She helped to establish the Star House, a shelter for homeless, gay, and trans youth. In the 1980s, HIV positive herself, she helped care for and advocated for the rights of HIV victims. In 1992, gay bashing was high in New York. Mysteriously, her body was found in the Hudson River on July 6th, just days after the Gay Pride Parade. Her death was ruled a suicide but her friends and supporters claimed otherwise, and in 2002, her death was investigated and reclassified as undetermined. Long after her death, she has finally been honored with a documentary, murals, monuments, and this New York State Park. So the next time that you're down on Kent Avenue in Brooklyn, either walking or maybe riding past on the bike lane, stop by and learn about this role model while taking in views of Manhattan. I'm the NYC Traveler.